Good day, everyone. Good day, indeed. How are we doing? Excellent, excellent. So, if you've missed it, I'm Dr. Patricia Andrea Davis Lemesey. Uh, my birth name is Patricia Andrea Davis. The Lemesey I married and divorced kept the last name. It separated me from the other Patricia Davises in America who has credit problems. <laughs> right. So, um, I was born in uh, Montego Bay, Jamaica. My father was a detective with the Montego Bay Police Force, and my mom was really stay at home. I remember we were at a wedding a few years ago, and somebody says, oh, I remember, you were always pregnant. Uh, we're, I'm one of seven. <laughs> my sister is a year and a half older than I am. I have a twin brother, and my next brother is a year and a half younger than I am, so my mom was always pregnant for a minute there. I have a definitive memory from my childhood, which um, makes me who I am. In Jamaica, they send you to pre-primary school. Education is a big thing in Jamaica. My memory is negative. I cried, I cried, I cried, and I asked my parents, why is my brother going to school and I can't go? They said because he was a boy. Another man has never bested me in education since then. Wow, wow, wow. Tell it, tell it, tell it. Tell it. Tell it. So I'm a doctor out of spite. Because yes. <laughs> I'm a girl. <laughs> Anywho, um, Scientist. our parents uh, moved to the United States in, um, well, I was 10 years old. And on November 1st, we got on a plane in Kingston and landed in Hartford, Connecticut. I've never been so cold in my life, and I still have an aversion for winter. I live in Florida for a reason. I have wanderlust, and I've lived in many places and several different countries. I've enjoyed it. I've learned a lot. I try to learn the languages where I go, understand the people, but I'm the quiet shy one. If you meet my brother, you'll understand. He's the outgoing twin. I'm the quiet shy one who sits and observes and take things in. Um, I actually feel really, really honored and privileged to like what I do for a living. I meet a lot of people who despise what they do and I truly enjoy what I do and I feel connected to the people who um, benefit from the products my company make. We make angioplasty catheters that they put into your arteries to open up blocked arteries. And my passion really lies with the pediatric catheters we made. Many babies are born with heart issues and um, and our products really, really save their lives. We save the lives of older people, but they've lived. <laughs> it's the babies that are more important to me. Um, I have a PhD in polymer science and engineering, plastics if you will, the stuff that's all over our oceans. And my interest is in biomedical engineering and biomedical devices, and I use that knowledge to develop the catheters my company make. Um, while studying, I had the privilege of living in Naples, Italy and studying at the University of Naples to finish off my doctoral work. And that was really a wonderful experience. Um, my professor at that time, he said, Hey, if you choose me as your advisor, you get to travel. And I found out this guy's pretty bright. He says, money is not what motivates you. I found that out from speaking to you the first minute I spoke to you. It's travel. So I've had a chance to travel. My bucket list is every country in the world. And I am working on it. I had a minute where I had to sit still. I adopted a baby girl at birth, who is now 16. 
and I can now start traveling again. But um, she's wow. traveled with me when we when she was younger. In fact, when I had to travel for business and she was in daycare, packed her up, gave her a little suitcase, and we traveled. That poor little thing thought filet mignon and shrimp was in the hotel room was the life, you know. <laughs> yeah. So she's actually studied in Jamaica for three years because I wanted her to have that experience. And um, now she's in a battle with her geography te geometry teacher because he wants her to do math his way. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, no, I learned it this way, and I get the right answer, so what's your problem? Yeah, so, um, she's feisty too. Uh, let's see. I learned about Africa for the Africans from, actually Claudette is Pepe's friend, our mutual friend of ours. Used to be Sass's roommate, so I've stepped in her shoes. Um, we met in Phoenix, Arizona about three years ago. And it was hello goodbye kind of thing because I was leaving Phoenix to return back to the Bay or to the Florida area. Um, she mentioned she went on this trip in passing, and she talked about Amara and her emotions there and everything. And I kind of stored it away in the back of my mind. And then Pepe came on in March. We went to Jazz in the Gardens, and she said, "Hey, you know, we're going on this trip." And I'm like, "Sign me up. I'm there." And I was actually running Bamani down. When do I pay you? <laughs> you know? He's like, hold up, it. hold up, you know. <laughs> Let me get this together, whatever. Don't you want more information? I'm like, yeah, I, love <laughs> I love it. Chase him down. Chase, right, chase him down. down. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm having a great time, even though you don't see me jumping up and down. I'm not that type. <laughs> I'm having a very good time, and I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying meeting you all, speaking to you, and. Um, I do have a poem to share, as everybody was sharing their poems. Yeah, yeah. It's not as upbeat as the others, but I do want to share it. So, um, in August of last year, after many, many years of illness, my mother passed. She was in my home being cared for by my sister. And um, a few weeks later, my best friend lost her baby brother as well. He was a truck driver. So the poem is called, End of a Certain Beginning. Around the new year I wrote this, it says, A new year emerges, telling heartaches to fade, forcing memories into submission, banishing tears and pain. The new year manifests, beckoning hearts to heal, to forget the past and embrace new experiences with zeal. This new year augurs hope and new possibilities to advance our life purpose if we leave sorrow's company. Our new year beckons us to forget the hurts of yesteryear, to grasp life, life's delectations and prevail with jubilations. All right. All Thank right. you. Oh my God.